Hello and welcome to Skydio Release Notes. I'm Mark Flam, Enterprise Program Manager here at Skydio, and today I'm excited to show you what's new with the latest enterprise software release for Skydio 2. First, we're proud to announce some new and enhanced features for Skydio 3D Scan. As you may know, there are two primary ways for capturing datasets within 3D Scan. 3D Capture, which explores the geometry of a structure and builds an adaptive path to document it from all angles. This enables the reconstruction of highly detailed 3D models. The second method is 2D Capture, which uses a planar flight pattern to generate orthomosaics. We've also made some improvements to our flagship 3D and 2D Capture modes. When adding a new pillar, you can now drag it on screen for more convenient placement. Improvements to the floor and ceiling UI make setting these limits more intuitive. Finally, 3D Scan is now available for Android. For a full list of new features and enhancements, read our 3D Scan release notes on skydio.com support. In addition to 3D Scan, we have some new and enhanced features for our core Skydio 2 enterprise experience. When flying indoors without GPS, Skydio will prevent you from flying too high. With this update, we've added the option to disable the height ceiling altogether. If you choose to disable your indoor height ceiling, make sure your drone stays within 66 feet of surfaces. As you know, Skydio lets you customize your drone's return behavior. With this update, you can now choose to have your drone land after returning, either immediately or after a set amount of time in the event of a lost connection. When viewing your map, creating waypoint missions, or orbiting a point of interest, Toggle on the new coordinate setting to view your location in latitude and longitude coordinates. You may also type in a specific set of coordinates to jump to that location, enabling you to easily pre-plan waypoint missions in a different location. Finally, the Skydio 2 Enterprise app will now save videos of your last flight to your phone. This allows you to review the videos of your most recent flights, even when your phone or controller is not connected to your drone. You can find your last flight by tapping the info icon and then navigating to the vehicle's information tab. Here at Skydio, we are committed to improving so that you have the best possible experience with our products. For more information about this release and instructions for updating your drone, visit our support articles at skydio.com support. Thank you and happy flying. <laughs>